What's good, YouTube land? Now, I'm for episode 3, I'm back at the store. And I'm going to be using the password machine, because I've got a few codes that I'm looking at. Because the internet's right behind me. 9, Not in the card list, or... Not available, okay. And so... That says all well, we need to know about that. Come back to the this later. Now I'm actually gonna go back to the reference room and do some puzzles. Cause we don't really need to look at the tutorials right now. Starting off Win in this turn. So, on your side of the field, you gave your fusion material monsters that are listed on a dark machine type fusion monster card. Special summon that one. Uh, use a monster from your fusion deck. Okay. What have you got? You got blue eyes, white dragon. Both players select one monster from their respective side of the field and switch control of these monsters with each other. Alright, I think I know what to do. Summon our fusion monster. Okay. Let's see what attack and defense are if it's if it's strong enough to combat blue eyes. Cause if I don't have to switch monsters then Hmm. Okay. Okay. I see now. Now I'm going to switch my monster for blue eyes, attack with blue eyes, and deal 1400 points of damage. Enough to win me the duel. Very creative strategies this game comes up with. But... In the end, we won, and we got success. No experience. Clear bone. Oh, okay. Let's do all f four of them right now, and then we'll continue on with the story. So we've each got a blue eyes in our... Uh, remove from play. Dimension fusion. Both players special summon as many of their remove from play monsters as possible. Torrential tribute. Interdimensional matter transporter. Select one face up monster on your side of the field. Remove from play until the end of the turn. You can only activate this card when a monster is normal summon, flip summon, or special summon. Destroy all monsters on the field. Okay, I think I have to. 
Pay 2,000 life points for this. Okay, let's see if I'm doing this properly. Summon blue eyes. He summons blue eyes. And then I get rid of all of them. I believe I activate yeah, turns for Chibi right now. Destroy every single blue eyes. And destroy Dark Dread Route. Huh. Oh, that wasn't. Oh well. Yeah, I did that correct. I did that incorrectly. Okay. Oh, now, I, now I figure it. It occurs to me now what to do. Now I think I can figure it out. Select one face up monster on your side of the field and move it from play until the end phase of this turn. I, I'm, I'm guessing I figured it out because it's been so long. Yes, he only has one blue eyes in his. He can only summon one blue eyes, and I can summon two. Sweet. There we go. I I kind of wish I had Pulmerization, though. I could try something to steal his blue eyes and fusion summon blue eyes ultimate dragon. But I'm still going to win because he can only summon one blue eyes. Freaking how terrifying is Blue Eyes anyway? Terrifyingly beautiful. So I'm gonna take us both out. I believe I still have a card of that that card of Blue Eyes in my collection in the other room. And I'm gonna do 3,000 points of direct damage! Boom! Take him out! And I win again after misplaying so hard that that first one. I was like, oh, I misplayed so hard. But we're going to receive another 150 straight cash. Chang, chang, make it rain over here. Chang, chang. Thursdays, let me bring it over here. That went. Oh, Jama! I know these cards pretty well. Let's see what we're set up with. It's got Reflect Bounder, two Reflect Bounders. 
Got a black stagger. When this card is like there's an attack target, this card is changed to fence position. We got Ojama Trio, special summon, three Ojama tokens. And then we've got Zero Gravity, change the battle position of all phase of monsters on the field. Before damage calculating this card inflicts damage to your Okay. We're gonna put him in defense mode. To be one dinosaur monster to activate this card. This card may face up on the field for three opponents turns while this card is faced up on the field. You can Do I actually want to summon these? I'm gonna try it anyway. Oh right. Zero gravity. Here we go. Now I have to pick which monster. Beginning of your battle phase first again. You can and must attack all monsters on your opponent's side of the field once each with this card. Hell yeah, I'm summoning Ultimate Tyranno. Cause freaking Frick the reflector's abilities don't activate if it's in defense mode. Battle phase. Do 3,000 points of damage. Boom! And he loses 300 points for each one. Okay. Is that the special ability of the Ojama token? And, just for good measure, attack a third Ojama token to win the match. And... Boom. We were down 9,800 points, and that is a hell of a comeback. Especially with Reflect Bounder on the field. God damn. I played that so well. And we've got one more. Ancient Kings. What have we got here? He's got one card. Win this turn. What's your card in your hand? Ultimate Offering. Okay, one black points. Normal summon... Set one extra monster you can only have to string them. Mm -hmm. I don't have 500 light points. Should be one monster on your side of the field and select its attacking defense or attacker defense increases your life points by that much. Six. Four. Eight. Somehow I'm gonna end up. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna tribute summon this guy. I'm gonna Mystic Walk him to get 2,000 points of life back. So now I have 21. Ultimate offering. Sacrifice 500 life points. Sacrifice 
Summon Mad Sword Beast. Okay. I'm gonna pay that. Play that. Definitely get rid of Karibo. Okay, let's do that. Do that. I don't know how I win right now. I don't know how I win with Ultimate Tyranno. I really don't think I win. Dang. Yeah, I don't win. Dang! Alright. Well... I'll have to come back to this one, guys. But I hope you enjoyed this random segment. That took up half the video. I'll come back here and figure it out when we're done recording. I'm just going to skip past these tutorials because I... No, not right now. You guys don't need to see that. Let's check out the classroom before we go. What's going on? Nothing. So... Pretty sure we can battle this person. Tori Maki. Think an elite blue like Mule Face, a slight for red loser? Ha ha ha. I'm just gonna go into deck construction a bit. Right, I think we're only allowed 40. I have 40. I have, oh, I have 40 of these guys. Stimpack. Is there anything I want to get rid of? I don't like... <sighs> I definitely want a bright castle. I definitely don't think I need a germ more than one germ infection. So I'm gonna swatch out, swap out eradicating. Uh, let's see, who am I gonna pick as a monster? Mesmer control. Oh, I have a Uran in my deck. I don't like graceful dice. So I'm gonna pick Swords of Revealing Light. No, no time wizard. You know what? Just for shits and giggles, we'll put one, put the zombie warrior there. Yes. Uh, go back to our dorm. Do 
battle somebody here. Oh, it's Cyrus again. Maybe we'll do better this time. Hopefully. Excuse me. I want to avenge my loss to Cyrus. And this is how he starts. This is pretty much how everyone starts. Oh, played two spell cards or magic chapter magic cards. All right. There's our biggest mon. There's a re ran. I want to see if we can get him on the field. The frickin' egg dry. I don't know what it hatches into. I don't think I've ever seen that. One normal monster from graveyard ball face up in defense for this one. Monsters on the field, they cannot attack. So, we're just gonna play Soggy for now. See if he can survive enough turns to bring out our big hair. Is that a submarine roid? Is that a submarine roid? I'm curious. Is that Thunder Nian Yan? Okay. No, it's a gyroid. Oh, dang. You destroyed your own card. Oh, why, why was that a good idea? And we're just gonna... Pick, gobble up some of Goblin's secret recipe. Gobble, gobble, gobble. That was delicious. Gyroid. Oh, you gotta attack him multiple times. Yeah, I'm gonna place Dark Rabbit in defense position. Try and summon Ryu Ran. See if he's gonna take the bait and attack my mon. No, he's not. Dang. Ryu Ran's got some major bulk. 2200 attack, 2600 defense. Not right now. I'll use Silent Fiend if I want. I should have used Silent Fiend to tribute summon, but I didn't have the necessity to do it. Is the face down monster a submarine roid? I'm curious. Steamroid? Yeah, it's a submarine roid. And that freaking that steamroid's gonna try and take out my reran, isn't it? Isn't it? You're not strong enough to take out my reran. Ha! That's what you get, steamroid. Gonna draw hmm. the illusionary gentleman. Switch. Wait. This card attacks your opponent's monster increase attack. This card is attacked by your opponent's monster decrease the attack. Decrease the attack of this card by 500 points during the damage step only. Sweet. I'm not sacrificing. Oh, you. You had something planned.
No, I'm not activating two prong attack. Stop trying to get me to sacrifice my monsters. No! Dang. Good play. Oh, crap. I'm just going to take out my reran now. I just... Okay, face up defense position. I can, I can bring Riran back if it gets destroyed because Cyrus is gonna play smarter than I think and just attack Riran with a uh... oh hammer shot. Dang. Okay, I'm not gonna let that happen. I'm going to activate two-pronged attack because I'm going to destroy my monsters before you can. Screw this freaking steamroid. And now you have to destroy your own monster. Ha ha! Wow, I played that better than I thought. Oh crap. Now he's just free to sit here and spam 800 points of damage towards me with his freaking submarine, right? Because I don't have anything else to take it out with. And now my strategy involves reviving my Ryuran, but it can't attack. It's going to be in defense position. Like, I, also, I misplayed pretty badly, but I also played in return pretty well. Yep. Yeah. You ran, you gorgeous dragon. So, summon Gazelle to take out Kana. Deal 100 Point, 100 points of damage. Dang it. And I end my turn. He's not willing to attack? What the, what the hell? Oh well. I can't attack either now, because the only thing I can attack is the, the submarine roid. Yeah, all I got... Really, is that? I'll, that's all I can do. Because I can't attack Submarine Roy. It has 1800 defense points. He's not attacking either. What is going on? Alright, I'm not going to summon that right now. I'm just going to end my turn. What is going on? We're stalling each other for some reason. The Mystic Elf? Okay. Don't need her right now. So she can just sit there and uh, wait to boost up my little thing here. I've been what? Why hasn't he been doing that the whole time? Whatever computer, you're weird. Uh, 
<sighs> what are we gonna draw now? Do I have any light monsters? I wish I could have undid, undone that. He's just gonna keep willing off 800 points of damage to us. Frustrating, I can't do anything. He's gonna summon UFO Roid. Why? I have no idea. Maybe he just wants to destroy, destroy my gazelle? I have no idea. What is he doing? Okay. Attack mode. No. Attack. This is a stolly as hell match right now. Why would you summon a UFO roid? Uh, just to do that? I think so. I mean, there's nothing else. Nothing else he could have done. Tremendous fire, okay. Try to take me out a little faster. You know, I so wish my Ryu Ran didn't have to end up getting knocked out. Because then I'd be attacked. I would have attacked the dang submarine Roid already. So I haven't got very many turns left. No. How much? Attack does it have now? 1500? All I need is one more turn, and I can match Submarine Roid's defense and knock it the hell out. But you're just gonna keep summoning. Okay, I'm just gonna keep doing 300 points of damage to you. Hmm. I don't know what your strategy is, Cyrus. Really? Other than to keep summoning these things. All I need is Hotline Bling. And one more card. Lucky me, lucky, lucky, lucky me. Battle phase. Attack the freaking submarine droid. Get it out of here. Oh wait, we both, we, neither of us get destroyed, damn it. I forget, that's only an attack position. I need one more turn. Luckily, I can survive one more turn. Thankfully, 
I'm only gonna, I'm only gonna have like 600 life points left. Yeah. So we barely survived this freaking submarine roid. Hell no. Attack! Get out of my face! Mooka Mooka, do your work! Put in the work. I know this thing won't be destroyed. Yep. Gyroid's ability activates, it won't get destroyed. Oh well. What have you got left, Cyrus? Nothing. You got nothing. That submarine roid was your last ditch effort to win. And I frickin' blew it apart! I'm gonna sacrifice a little of uh, Muka Muka's attack. Yep, activate your ability, I don't care. We've got three mons to attack with. And you obviously have. You may have something up your sleeve. Or not. That can work. I can, this can work, I can still win, possibly. That was his wall. And we do 2100 points of direct. Beautiful damage. Beautiful. What have you got? A defense position. Nothing. You know what, I'm just gonna summon Sword Arm of Dragon. Just be careful, but I'm going in. I'm going in. Submarine Roid, dang. I do 50 points of damage to myself. He really wanted to survive that. Screw you, submarine roid. I've still got Muka Muka. Attack. Sweet. I only need 1600 more. I'm gonna be off the mark by 200. But look at that fucking comeback! He was up six, like, almost 6,000 life points, and we got him down to 200. Monster reincarnation. Okay. I don't care. Do 500 life points. I've still got 50 life points left. You just couldn't do enough, could you, Thunder Nyan Nyan? Really? In the end... You just couldn't do enough damage. Go, Mooka Mooka! There we 
go. You almost won, Cyrus. GG. GG. Now we've got our revenge against Cyrus. Boy, that was freaking close. Jeez. That was closer than I would have liked. It's my dueling skills for a building. I'd be a parking lot at the basement. Like, come on, Cyrus. There, yeah, there's somebody over there. I want to go to the lighthouse before this episode's over. Just to see if there's something there, because... There's generally some plot here. It's a male stranger. <laughs> hey, you're that... You're that new student. What's your name again? I'll see you later, Alexis. Bye! Oh, it's time to go dorm. Alright, YouTube. This is where I end episode 3. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I know somebody who's never going to watch this. But, uh, like, comment, subscribe. And I'm going to get up on out of here. So, have yourselves a good day. But until next time, keep it weird. <laughs>